Hello and welcome to another episode of Modern Infrastructure Wednesday. I'm your host, Lee Zen. Today we're going to be talking about building and publishing Docker images to Amazon Elastic Container Registry. Fairly common use case for working with containers, Kubernetes, uh, on AWS, you know, you want to publish your images somewhere, private repo, you have some applications you're building, and then you're going to use those images within AWS. So uh, really easy to accomplish in Pulumi, really just able to do it in a few statements of code. We're going to be using Python today uh, to accomplish this. And so we're going to do these three simple things. We're going to create an ECR repository, we're going to build a Docker image uh, out of a Docker file that we have on disk, and we're going to push that image uh, to ECR. Uh, and so before we get started, please make sure you subscribe to Pulumi TV, click that subscribe button below and love to hear your feedback. Please leave comments, like the video. I uh, just want to hear what you're thinking. So yeah, let's get started. So what I have a empty Pulumi program here. I ran Pulumi new uh, AWS Python. So if you run Pulumi new AWS uh, Python, you know, you're going to create this empty shell program. I deleted what was in the template main, um, just emptied that out. And then I also created a my app with a Docker file, very simple, just from Nginx. That's all there is in here. Um, and so now we're going to uh, go through the steps of what I talked about. So first, let's create the, the registry um, and start there. So uh, we're going to uh, from Pulumi AWS, we're going to import ECR. And uh, we're going to create the repo. So uh, create repository. And we can do a repository. And we'll just call it uh, repo. Actually, let's, you know, we should name the repository after uh, the application. So let's just create a constant here. Um, let's do this for now. And so this can just be called uh, app. Okay, and um, so this repository is going to hold the images for our app, and let's make sure this runs. Let's see how this goes. All right, so yes, let's create that repository. All right, great. So that worked, and so now let's go ahead and create the image. So that's actually fairly simple too. Uh, we're going to create the image, and uh, yeah, let's 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 see how this goes. So we want image. Oh, of course, of course, we need Docker. So we're going to uh, import uh, Plumi Docker as Docker. So we bring in the Docker provider. Oops. And so we'll have the image is uh, image, and here we're just going to give it a name. Uh, again, we're just going to call it uh, the app's name, and then we're going to need to give it an image name. So let's. Do that and the image name needs to conform to the repository's expectation of what the image name should be and so typically that's going to be like for ecr it's going to be a uh, repository url and then colon um you know some tag right that's that's pretty standard uh, and so that's very easy to do in pulumi we can basically do um uh, let's import pulumi as well so we can get some helper methods And we're just going to concatenate some output together. So we're going to concatenate, as I mentioned, the the URL uh, plus colon actually. So this example works out perfectly for us. And then the tag. Um, so uh, it's the repo uh, repository URL uh, colon, and then the uh, tag. We're just going to put latest on there. Uh, right? Call it like v1. I don't know. It doesn't matter, right? So put this tag there. Um, we could, you can use anything. I'm sure, in, obviously, you'd probably programmatically do something here, but for now, this is just an example. Uh, and then um, we want to push this. Uh, sorry, we have to give it a build. Let's do that first. Um, and so you can see one of the primary stakes is a Docker build. So let's give it that. And this, you can see, takes a context. And the context is, as the docs mentioned, a path to a directory. So usually the directory in which the Docker build resides, that's very easy. Uh, this is just... Uh, actually, we can just do this. Um, so we have this handy dandy directory here. It just happens to be named this. 
And then finally, we're going to uh, want to push this to the registry. So let's stick the registry here. And so now the question is like, what do we stick here in this argument? So we want to stick this image registry thing. Um, and this takes a server username and password, but we don't have those. Uh, those come from uh, this repository. And actually, we need to call get credentials to do that. So let's like, I'm, this is a placeholder for now. We're going to see how we're going to fill this in in a second. Um, so let's get the credentials and uh, create an image registry from that. Um, so that's what we need to do, right? So we need to get the credentials and create an image registry, which takes those uh, parameters uh, from the credentials to, to do this. So let's take a look at the documentation real quick. So we were using repository earlier. Um, yeah, not a whole lot of config here. And then now we're going to use get credentials. And get credentials takes the registry ID, and it gives us back a couple useful things. One is the proxy endpoint. And that's actually what we're going to fill in for the server uh, argument here. That's the URL we're going to publish to. And then it takes a username and password. And that's going to come from the uh, authorization token. And the authorization token is going to be a base64 encoded value that we can decode. Uh, and it's going to be a username password uh, pair. So let's do that. Uh, so creds. Uh, and this is going to be get credentials. And uh, the registry ID, that's easy. That's just uh, repo.id. But actually, here you can see this is an output. And this is expecting a, a prompt value uh, and not an output, just wants a string. So the way to actually do this is do this within an apply. So just like we had uh, here, we use concat. We're going to use apply here. Oops. And so um, this is the repo ID now. And uh, we can call ID here. Um, let's call it, actually, let's call this repo ID. Um, one thing we should do, though, is now, you know, this Lambda can get pretty complicated because, you know, we're going to get the credentials. We're going to use those credentials in a bunch of ways. Let, let's just make this a callback. And in fact, like, if we make this a callback, we can just make this a callback that creates the image registry for us from the credentials. So we're going to call this callback uh, something useful like um, uh, create image registry from credentials. OK. Um, all right. Sorry. Let's, let's call it get credentials. Uh, and, uh, well, I know. OK, let's just call it create image registry. And it, it's going gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna to create image registry from the repo ID. That's actually like descriptive enough, I guess. Um, and uh, so let's define this. Uh, so this is going to take the repo ID. And so now we're going to call the get credentials. And this takes the rid. And uh, if we look back here, um, now we can actually know how to fill in that, that image registry. So we can return uh, Docker image registry. And this is going to take the server, which is just the creds proxy endpoint. And then it's going to take a username and password. So we're just going to fill that in for now. Uh, and so the username and password are pretty easy to get. Oh, shoot, I hit this button by accident. So what, what are we going to do? We're going to uh, decode, like I said, using base64. So we need to import base64. And we're going to decode the value. So we're going to say um, uh, uh, auth token, right? Yeah, auth token. Well, it's called decoded. Uh, is the creds authorization token. Uh, and so we're going to do base64 uh, decode. Oops. So we're going to decode this. So this takes those bytes, decodes them. So it takes these bytes, uh, decodes it. And then we're going to uh, interpret that as UTF-8. And then finally, we need to split this. So username, password, uh, using the colon. OK, so assuming I got everything right, which I may not have, um, now this is no longer creds. This is actually just the uh, registry. 
right? Because this is this we're taking the repository ID that we created, we're getting the image registry using that repository ID. So this we're getting this registry output uh, here, which is based on creating an image registry off of those credentials that we're going to retrieve uh, from ECR. And so here we can now fill this in with a registry. And that's it. So let's run this code and see what happens. Uh, if I got everything right, which I probably didn't, but there's a small chance I did, uh, then this should just work. And we will end up, oh yeah, okay, so I messed something up. Um, let's say it will just work and then we'll end up creating a um, registry with an image that we push to it. So let's see, what did I mess up? Um, what does this say? It says registry IDs failed to satisfy constraint. So at this, this looks right. Um, I call with this rid, yes. Uh, so the get credentials is giving me an error. Uh, so I must not have given it the correct ID here. Um, ah. Yes, this is not the repo ID, it's the registry ID. All right, so um, yeah, I need this, not the, not, the, not the repos ID, it's the registry ID. So let's try running this again. All right, so this didn't totally bomb out immediately, so, oh, great. Um, and I'm guessing uh, what should happen now assuming everything goes well this time, is now Docker build is actually running uh, and building my image. And then it will uh, take that image that it's going to build and then push it to the registry. So I think I got everything else right this time. Let's wait like one minute and find out, assuming my machine builds this image quickly and is able to push uh, the image. I think should, the image should only be like a few few megs, so hopefully it shouldn't take that long to do the actual do the actual push here. But in the interest of time, I'm going to pause and let the magic of TV take over. Alright, I unpaused and actually I was a little impatient. I guess it did only take 58 seconds, so like I was literally paused for all of like 30 seconds, but it did it did complete. Um, let's take a look at this update. Uh, so if we look at the resources in the stack, you can see now we have um, this image and we have this repository. Great success. If we open the repository, it should have had the image pushed to it. And there it is with our 1.0.0 tag. Um, and you can see uh, we have everything here. So yeah, just like that, let's summarize what we did. Um, you know, really simple, actually. Uh, we... Uh, in just a few statements, like I promised, uh, we're able to create a Docker image uh, and push it to a uh, Elastic Container Registry uh, repository. Uh, and yeah, we did it in just one, two, three, four, yeah, I'll count this one, five uh, statements of code. Uh, and it's, you know, with some nice, even with some nice formatting. So in, in 25 lines, uh, we got all this done in Plumi. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Uh, please make sure you subscribe, like I mentioned. Uh, you can also follow us on Twitter at PolumiCorp, or you can hit me up directly at LMZen. And we'll see you next week on Pulumi TV. Thanks for watching.